An emergency is no time for on-the-job training. It is recommended that you familiarize yourself with the contents of this video. The emergency response kit, recommended practices, and installation procedures before an emergency occurs. This video is not a substitute for in-depth training or specific handling techniques or emergency response procedures. In the event of a leaking valve or fitting, it is critical that appropriate steps be taken immediately to mitigate the leak. Anyone involved in capping a leak should follow their company's procedures and manufacturer's material safety data sheets, MSDS, regarding personal protective equipment. Note that in the event of an actual tank car leak, you would be required to wear the appropriate personal protective equipment. For purposes of this video demonstration, the participants are only wearing minimal safety equipment. Next, we will examine stopping leaks from pressure relief valves. If a leak is between the valve and the mounting plate below the valve, tighten down alternately on the stud nuts 1, 3, 2, 4. If the leak is a liquid leak coming through the discharge orifice of the pressure relief valve, this indicates that the tank car is liquid full and some of the liquid must be removed or transferred into another suitable container. If the tank pressure is below the valve setting, and gas is leaking through the discharge orifice of the pressure relief valve and the valve is an internal style with a spoke top guide and the springs and other parts extend down through a hole in the cover plate into the car replacing the o-ring that seal the valve will probably stop the leak caution conducting this procedure may be hazardous depending on the material in the tank car Maintenance personnel should be carefully trained before being permitted to perform the following procedure on a pressure relief valve mounted on a pressurized tank.